I'm gonna show you how to do a really quick whiskey cocktail. So this one is literally the simplest one we'll make, which is a good whiskey highball. Getting into whiskey, I really do recommend the Shackleton. Um, it's, it's a perfect entry to the category. It's really smooth. It's, it has some notes of toffee, of vanilla, um, and it's just really beautiful to drink on ice. The brand has this beautiful story of adventure and journey where they um, basically supplied the whiskey on an expedition, a British expedition to Antarctica um, in 1907, which is pretty cool. Um, so they just kind of try to recreate those flavors, and I think that's, that's really fun. Um, if you're someone that likes to drink in neat, then go for it. Um, I recommend getting the bottle nice and cold. If you want to drink it on ice, this is the type of bottle you drink with one or two cubes of ice, so you get a little bit of dilution into the whole mix. But if you want to try some cocktails, then that's totally cool as well. That's why I partnered up with Shackleton and Boozy.ph, um, where we made these cocktail kits that are available online. Highball obviously is something that is extremely popular in Japan. A lot of people drink their whiskeys there with just a little bit of soda water and some good ice. And you don't really need any tools to make it. All you need is like some sort of highball glass. Um, we're gonna put some ice in there. What I did is just, I went ahead and grabbed one of these containers. I'm sure a lot of you have them at home. Um, and I froze an ice block. And what I'm gonna do is just make something that I can cut into and then just put it in the glass. It's a really simple sharp knife run it through a couple of times, it'll start kind of generating kind of a little bit of heat. And then very quickly, you should have something you can start working with. And then we're just gonna shave that. That should fit perfectly. Boom. Now that that's done, all we have to do is actually fill it up. So I don't like using measurements when I do this, uh, simply because it really depends on the glass that you have. So when making a highball, you could use a jigger and do about one part um, whiskey and about three parts of soda water, depending on how much you want. Um, this kit comes with three cans of shrub soda water, so it should give you enough for about 15 portions when you're making this at home. Perfect for parties, dinner parties, and stuff like that. But if you don't have a jigger, that's fine as well. We're gonna use the parts as kind of like a division. Think of this glass as four parts, and then we're gonna do one part of our Shackleton whiskey first basically one fourth. And then we're gonna add some of the bitters that comes with the kit. And then we're just gonna to top it up with some soda water. Once that's done, we're gonna stir it about 13 times, slowly. And then we're just gonna bring the bubbles up. Simple as that, whiskey highball.